Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series, Sega Racing Renaissance, where I review every single mainline arcade Sega Racing game ever released in a retrospective fashion. And of course, you can't have a retrospective on Sega Arcade Racing if we don't talk about the original Daytona USA, because this game is legendary and iconic, and it is one of the best arcade racing games ever made. Bar none, I stand by that opinion. Before we get too far involved though, do me a huge favor, down below, hit like and subscribe, and ring that notification bell, definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But here we go, we have a rolling start, and when I first played this game in arcades, I was absolutely hooked. Now I did have some options as to what version to show you. I could show you the Model 2 Original, or I could show you Sega Racing Classic. And for nostalgia reasons alone, I always end up playing the original arcade release. It just looks how I enjoy it to look. There's nothing wrong with the other versions of this game, it is just what I like, and I will say that I own many versions of it, and when I was thinking about which one to show, it was not a hard challenge because I knew I wanted it to look exactly how I remember. But this is the type of game that when it came out was an absolute arcade hit for Sega, so much so that it's in that upper echelon of House of the Dead, where if you walk into an arcade, it's like a coin flip chance whether or not they're going to have a Daytona USA cabinet on the floor. These machines are still everywhere. You can buy them readily. You can get an arcade PCB pretty much any day of the week. It was just such a huge game that Sega made so many of them. And they hid so many fun details and like hitting start here on that slot machine just to stop the game. When I think of Sega, I think of Daytona USA, maybe even more so than Sonic the Hedgehog. But I am curious, if one Sega game comes to your mind more than any other when I say the word Sega, leave me a comment down below and tell me what that game is. Because I'm really curious what Sega means to you, the viewer. Because for me, it is Daytona, it's House of the Dead, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, probably in that order. But again, this is just a perfect racing game. There's not that many courses, it doesn't take that long to play, but what is here is amazing. And I will say that if you do want to play a longer race, you have the option to do so. Because if we go into the game system settings and go down to game mode, you're going to see we have Grand Prix and we're going to have Endurance. Now, I have definitely completed an Endurance race before on the short lap, and that is 80 laps around the track. And I'm curious, I don't really feel like many people know you can go into the settings and do that in the arcade version, so tell me down below below if you've ever completed an 80 lap race. I have done it like three or four times. I've only ever gotten to like fifth or sixth position at the best, but my goal one day in life is to do all 80 laps and to win the race. So if you've done that, tell me down below. I would be very curious to hear about it, but I do love that that's an option in the PCB settings menu. Gives you a little bit more longevity because obviously an 80 lap race, a lot longer than an 8 lap race. Let's move on to the medium course. And I will say that I have an internal debate going with myself, and that is whether or not I like this game or Daytona USA 2 better. Depending on the day of the week you ask me, my opinion may change. The only thing I know for sure is that my least favorite is Daytona USA 3. Not to say that's not a good game, it is quite fun, but it pales the comparison to the first two. But I am curious, what Daytona do you prefer as well? Because I always hear a lot of debate between this one and the sequel, and I think basically they're both incredible. I would love to see Daytona USA running on Model 3 hardware, that would be a lot of fun, but honestly, this is just a blast, and when you go into first person mode, the game feels even faster, and that's one of the great things about Daytona, is the sense of speed and the sense of flipping a car because you weren't paying attention. It does happen sometimes, I will say that it's a little bit harder in first person versus third, but the sense of speed you get in this game, especially in the first person view, is spectacular. This is just always blitzing by your eyes, burning into your retinas, and of course, because it is Daytona, if somehow you've never heard the soundtrack, it is also going to worm its way into your ear, and you're going to be humming it all day long. Even doing the commentary right now in the back of my head, I can hear all of the music, so of course, I've got to get it stuck in your head as bad as it is stuck in my head. So go ahead and listen to the soundtrack for like 45 seconds, because I assure you, it's going to be like a brand into the front of your gray matter. You're going to hear it, and you're going to be hearing it for the next week, whether or not you want to or not. So here it comes. You won't forget it. Enjoy.
place 14. Now, if there's a more iconic Sega arcade soundtrack, leave me a comment down below because for me, it is Daytona USA. It is music that I will be humming in my head until my brain rots away because I am long dead and gone. It's just one of those things. It's the type of music you could put on in your car and do a cross-country road trip, and you probably want to start driving 120 miles an hour when you did it because it just makes me want to put my virtual foot down on the virtual pedal that much harder. But going on to the next track in the game, there might only be three tracks for you to pick from in the menu, but they are all perfect. And that is because at least for the Daytona USA course, the developers at AM2 did a lot of research into motorsports, used satellite imagery for that course, so it's probably as accurate of a Daytona USA race as you could get outside of the fact that the physics in this game have nothing to do with real world car driving. And you will see I managed to somehow flip my car in the perfect way to flip it around a corner and continue driving. Obviously not another thing you're going to be doing in the real world if you do. I am highly impressed. Please don't try that at home. But again, I just love that. Two cars just flipped in front of me and I was able to drive underneath them. This is the type of game that gives you those moments that you'll remember forever. I've never seen two cars flip in front of me and I've never driven under two of them until I did the capture for this retrospective series and now I'm always going to remember that that happened. But I'll always also remember the first time I played this game. I grew up in a small town in Vermont and my local arcade was called the Dream Machine and I would go like every other Friday after school if my grades were decent and my parents felt like driving me and the first time I saw Daytona USA on the arcade floor I knew I had to play it and I fell in love immediately off that first credit and for like that entire summer I feel like I went back to that arcade probably a dozen times and sunk all of my allowance money into the machine because I just had to keep playing Daytona USA and when I did get a Sega Saturn and it came out at home I bought that basically day one it wasn't the best port in the world, but honestly, I still had a ton of fun with it as a kid. I probably played that game for hundreds of hours because it was one of the few Sega Saturn games I did own. I didn't really feel like showing the original Saturn version of Daytona USA Racing here either. If you have never played this game somehow before, that's probably the last version I would recommend. It is still good, but there's so many other ways to play this game. Daytona Racing Classic, Model 2 Emulation, buy an original arcade board. I do actually now have one in the closet and I'm going to get some controls wired up to it, but I am waiting on some parts to come in and I couldn't wait for the retrospective. But that's how much I love this game. I went out and bought an arcade board for it. That way I could wire up some controls and play it on original hardware whenever I want. And I am so very happy to have a copy of this game in my physical collection because it's the type of thing that will probably be 65 and I'll take out of the closet and say, you know what? I feel like playing a little Daytona USA today. This is just the type of game that if you develop the top 100 video game list of all time, it 100% is going to show up, and I would probably say it would show up in like the teens. But if you're going to assign a best game of all time number to this game, 1 through 100, leave it down below because I would be curious. If you're going to leave it off that 100 list, I'm definitely probably going to judge you. I'm kind of joking, I don't really judge anyone whatsoever. You get to like what you get to like. But I love this game. This is Sega at the height of its abilities to make arcade racing games. And while they made so many other amazing games, Daytona USA 2, Scud Race, things like that, for me, this will always be the most pure Sega arcade racing experience of all time. It is not my favorite arcade racer from Sega, but it is the most pure. It's just a game that I've been playing basically my entire life, and I do not think I will ever stop playing it again. And that might be very well true for you as well because this is the type of game that if you're watching this channel, I'm sure you have played it. People don't come around video game esoterica parts if they're not into arcade stuff. And if you're into arcade stuff and you haven't played this game, you must be sleeping under a rock on a desert island where no one lives. Because I feel like even maybe some desert islands probably have a Daytona USA cabinet on them. That is how prolific this game truly was. It's just a perfect game, that's what I'm going to say. I have absolutely no faults to give Daytona USA Racing. Maybe there could have been a few more courses, but what is here is perfect, and I cannot think of a single thing to say about the game outside maybe at hard difficulty. It gets really hard, and that's kind of what it was supposed to do, so even that, not really a strike. This was a fun one for me to talk about, even though I've talked about it on the channel before, because when I knew I wanted to do a Sega Racing retrospective, that talking about Daytona USA was going to be fun, because that meant I got to play it one more time. Sure, that I'll have another video on racing next Wednesday, and I'll have videos throughout the week as well. I ran out of time, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.